You need to hear this. You need to hear this. Drop whatever you are doing and just focus on what I'm about to say right away. Mm-hmm. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jane and you already know, aka Jane Mena. Mm -hmm. So if you're an expectant mom, you're pregnant or you know somebody that is pregnant, you as a husband, if your wife is pregnant or your mom is pregnant, your sister is pregnant, anybody at all you know that is pregnant, please tell them to listen to this. So when I posted my pregnancy vlog, I got a lot of DMs and a lot of um, questions in the comment section on how to give birth in Barbados and why do I need to give birth in Barbados, Jane? What do you think? What is the most important thing that I need to know about Barbados, you know? But I couldn't answer everybody, no. I individually was tiring. I made a suggestion. I was like, I'm going to talk to everybody about it through my YouTube. So sit down, relax, and listen. First and foremost, Barbados was never in my list of the countries I wanted to go give birth in at all. Now, I had four countries in my list, USA, Canada, Brazil, and Mexico. Now, let's slash two out, which is Brazil and Mexico. Reasons are, there is a 99.9% .9 chance of immigration officers sending you back to your country, especially if you're a foreigner. I know of two people they sent back, heavily pregnant, though they have their own benefits and they have their own advantage. Every country has their own advantage and disadvantage. For USA, I've been denied four times. Four good times. And USA is somewhere I really wanted to visit. It's a country I've always dreamt of visiting. One, because I really wanted to collaborate with a lot of dancers, you know, in Helmi, Royoji, Cora, Nafsia, you know. I just wanted to go visit, even if it's for two weeks, you know, and get back. But, you know, they've been denying me. The second one was Canada. I've never applied for a Canadian visa. I was already four months gone. Ticketi agency actually um, advised us that, ha, huh, Canada, they can hold your passport for up to five months. Five months. You don't even know if they're going to give you the visa or not. Where do I go and give birth? I was thinking said kids. But my husband brought a suggestion. Baby, let's go give birth in Barbados. I'm like, Barbados? I don't know so much about the country. Do you have anybody there that can help us? And we started asking around. Even the people we were asking, they were even instilling more fear on us because they sent pregnant women back. Why? Why do they send pregnant women back? And that was where they knock us this gist. So they said most Nigerian women, when they go there, they put in the house address um, in their hospital bill and their uh, phone number, their Barbadian phone number, you understand. And you know, in a government hospital, the bills are not sent immediately to you. You know, when you go to a government hospital to give birth, they don't give you the bill immediately. You know, it takes time. It takes calculation before they send it over to your um, billing address, which is your home address where you stay. So as at the time they send the billing address, they don't work out. They have gone home. To me, I feel like it's um, not entirely their fault. But I feel like once they feel, once they are done giving birth, before they leave the hospital, all the bills should be settled, right? What do you think? Maybe you can disagree with me. But then again, that is what I feel like. So, And this has been happening for so long, and they decided to stop it. Now, if you don't have a guarantor going into um, Barbados to give birth, you cannot even enter into the country as a pregnant woman. They would not even allow you. You. they'll send you back right there at the airport another thing they also did was to stop foreigners from going to the government hospital to give birth a doctor has to be the one to admit you into the government hospital for you to be able to use their facilities so here goes your number one question do you know that Barbadian passport is the most strongest Caribbean passport in the whole world and guess what do you know you can use a Barbadian passport to visit 166 country visa free yes visa free eh and apart from that god the people are so nice they are truthful they are respectful they are so welcoming mind you the weather is hot as i when i went to give birth the weather was extremely hot so we're always going to the beach or doing a lot of stroll in the evening so don't go and carry winter jackets to barbados <laughs> you will now wear it at <laughs> Because when we went there, it was really hot, really, really hot. And that's why till date, if you put on AC for my baby, 
he cries. He doesn't even like cold at all. So he's gotten used to that weather. And here yeah, it's a whole different. The second question will be. Now, this is where you need a guarantor. But the most important of all is you must have a valid UK or USA visa or a transit visa for you to be able to enter into Barbados. For me, I had a two years visa, which was going to expire November 23, 2022. And so that was what actually saved me because at, at the time there was no fast track and that's why I couldn't even go through the whole Canadian visa process. I couldn't even go through it. And for the UK, there was also no fast track because of the whole COVID issue. It was even after we we're in Barbados, that's when the fast track was now made possible. You know, I already told you that my husband was saying, let's go give birth in Barbados. And I was asking him, Dave, do you know anybody in Barbados that can help us? Because we're hearing a lot of shit stories, how they send people back. We finally got this lady's number. And the first thing we did was to pay a thousand dollars before we could even get any information. A thousand dollars. You need a guarantor. This guarantor will help you in so many ways, not just with the immigration officer, but outside the airport. This person is going to assist you with a lot of things. You have to go with a lot of cash. <laughs> you see these eyes? They crude. They cried and they crude. The guarantor is the most important part of your trip. One of the advantages of having a guarantor before you travel to Barbados is, one, immigration officers will have to call to confirm everything that you've told them. The guarantor will provide her house address, office address, and would always sign a shorty on behalf of you because they don't want you running away with their money. If not, all your efforts will be in vain. They're going to send you back one, two, three, and I'm telling you nothing but the truth. This guarantor will help you with the doctor, with the hospital, and with the immigration officers. This is the guarantor that will make the immigration officers release you from the airport into Barbados. Without this guarantor, say bye-bye to your efforts. At first, we paid 1,000 USD, and upon arrival, we paid the balance of another 1,000 USD. Your guarantor's fee is $2,000. So the total fee for your guarantor is $2,000. $1,000 deposit and $1,000 upon arrival. Say, ah, $2,000, this much, oh. Let me tell you more things. Your guarantor helps you to source for baby equipment. Your guarantor helps you to source for a chef to cook your food even if you don't feel like cooking. Your guarantor helps you to source for nanny services, good ones, and a lot of other things. Eh? You see now, when you go to Barbados, you see what I'm talking about. You say that this $2,000 is even small compared to what your guarantor is going to be doing for you. Trust me. Now, number three. For every document you want to have, there's a fast track and there's a non-fast track. Now, the fast track is about 500 USD and the non-fast track is about between 200 to 300 USD. 1,000 Barbadian dollars is half of the US currency. That is, 1,000 Barbadian dollars is 500 USD. 2,000 Barbadian dollars is 1,000 USD. You understand? That is how you make your calculation. So for the baby's fast track, it takes less than five days for your passport to be out. If your visa is close to expiring, you don't have much time left, you know, you can go for the fast track. In less than five days, your baby's passport is out, 500 USD, and that is 1,000 Barbadian dollars. And for the non-fast track, it takes about two weeks, and that's 14 days. It's between 200 to 300 USD. I'm not so sure because I did the fast track. And another reason why you are paying your guarantor $2,000 is you will need a guardian when doing your baby's passport and that is where your guarantor comes in to sign on behalf of your baby. Very, very important. The passport also comes with a national ID card and even if you cannot pick it up yourself, don't worry, your guarantor is always there to pick it up for you and send it across to you in Nigeria. We just got asked like, I think, um, was, it, was it two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. And your guarantor lives in Barbados just for over a decade and more now. So don't worry, you are in safe hands and anything she will let you know ASAP. The immigration officers, they're going to ask you how long you're staying in Barbados. And please, 
be truthful be truthful if they smell even a single lie you're out of the country and secondly they're going to ask you how much you have with you and you should have a minimum of ten thousand dollars oh we're traveling I had about twenty thousand dollars which is more than enough but still not more than enough you yeah, that country is expensive hey food oh food you see this information i'm giving you eh, is for free yes it's for free because i know how much my husband paid just to get this woman's number apart from the one thousand dollars the people that sold this guarantor's number to him hey they took almost 850k let's not even talk about it so on my screen you can see this is the whatsapp number of the guarantor that you can message please feel free it's safe there is no scam zone anything if you're having any difficulties please Feel free to message me on my business page, Jimena Gliss. I'll see your message faster than my personal page. Don't forget to ask questions if you are lost. If there's anything you need to get an idea on, if there's anything you are confused about, please speak up. Trust me, you don't want to go there and look lost or confused. So I already put on my notification on YouTube. So when I get a comment, I'm going to respond to you immediately. If there's anything you feel like I forgot, please ask in the comment section. Barbados is a very beautiful country on oh god it's somewhere i'd love to stay somewhere i'd love to bring up my children because oh my god that country is amazing please don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and like this video and share to any expectant mom you feel wants to give birth to baba leave comments and i'm going to answer them for you you know i've gone and i've returned with my baby <laughs> whenever you make a contact with the whatsapp number don't forget to say you are from jemena you might get a discount you know a discount thank you guys so much and i'm wishing you a safe delivery for every mom that is expecting to get the fruit of the womb i wish you the very best and i pray that it works and it happens very very soon for you in jesus name amen 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 love you Mwah. another advice i would like to put out there is please if you are traveling outside the country make sure you're going a month before okay one mistake i did i won't really call it a mistake but i went too early i went when i was 32 weeks pregnant i felt like it was too early because that made us spend so much more so make sure you go at least when you are 34 35 weeks pregnant please but if you're having twins you have to go earlier please so don't go too early like me so you don't spend so much okay if i'm going to Barbados again i'm going to be going when i'm 35 weeks pregnant i will not do 32 weeks because it made me spend so much more okay thank you guys for watching i love you and stay safe hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe